Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Jeff Herndon. And I'm Emily Younger. Costumes in candy. Halloween just a few days away. Mm. One Wichita mother is putting out a warning ahead of the holiday after her son was hit by a driver last year. KSN's Alexis Padilla has the story from College Hill. Jeff Emily, College Hill is a hot spot for trick or treating every Halloween. Come Monday night, hundreds of people will fill these streets. Last year, though, the fun night took a scary turn for one Wichita boy, sending him to the hospital. Like many kids, Kimani Scott was excited to get his treats. As we were walking across, my son slipped my hand and took off running. What happened next? Not so sweet. A driver heading west on Douglas hit the four year old boy. At the time it happened, I didn't think my son was alive. So it was definitely scary. Um, my older kids were screaming and they were really scared too. Sending him to the emergency room. By the grace of God, um, we ended up leaving the hospital with a pretty bad concussion and some pretty bad road rash and that was it. Wichita police initially arrested the driver on suspicion of driving under the influence. The driver pleaded guilty to assault in February. His two counts of DUI were dismissed. We never spent Halloween, we weren't spending Halloween thinking that, you know, a drunk driver was going to come out of nowhere. So definitely just hold on to your kids. And if you can um, go without driving, park your car and just walk so that there's less traffic on the road. This year, the College Hill Neighborhood Association is barricading several blocks for trick or treaters. We're pretty grateful that they are making changes. Not that it was anything to do with, you know, the neighborhood or anything like that, but the fact that my son's accident didn't happen in vain, that there's changes coming. Um, because of it and stuff really makes us happy. So despite last year, Kimani and his siblings are not staying scared. They are ready for Halloween. The barricades here in College Hill will be up from five to nine o'clock Halloween night. If you want to see exactly where those will be, check out our website, KSN.com. Here for you in College Hill, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.